everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back to share with you what i have put in florence's christmas stocking this year so let's talk about it shall we so florence is eight months she turns nine months on the 19th of december so does a nine month old know what christmas is no does my five-year-old know what christmas is yes um, so I'm doing it for my benefit, I'm doing it for P's benefit, Florence hasn't got a bloody clue what Christmas is, um, but I, I just can't not do her stocking, um, because this year has been a write-off for everyone, and I thought, why not, and I also do believe that P would question as to why Father Christmas has brought P a stocking and not, not Florence, I mean I have to do my cat a Christmas stocking, um, so... <laughs> <laughs> I've made a rod off my own back. Um, so Florence is having one too. To be fair, a lot of this stuff um, is reused, as in it used to belong to P, and now obviously I, I've got it out of the attic for Florence because that's the cheapest way I can do it. I will quickly show you the stocking. I spoke about it in P's video. I'm hoping that this one will go second. Um, I picked up this stocking. I know it's large for a baby of her size, um, but I managed to get two for £24 um, on a Kath Kidston selling site. So they've got matching stockings. I don't do matching for anything, but they're having matching stockings. Um, so this is the stocking that she will be using. I am tempted to get P's red one out of the attic and use that um, because I, I loved that one from Mother Care. I did buy her a Jojo um, mum and baby stocking that says my first Christmas but it's tiny um, and Jessie's obsessive and I'd buy some stuff for Florence so <laughs> that won't fit so I might sell that one on. Um, so we'll see, we'll see on the day whether she uses this one or P's old red one. Um, let's get into the video, shall we? So let's start with the boring stuff. Body wash, because every baby needs it. Um, I do find that stockings and stuff are really good for like essential stuff and then little bits. Um, so you would have seen that in P's video. Um, I know a lot of people put like DVDs and CDs and like really expensive stuff in stockings, like 15 quid and I'm like, how can you afford that? So this is the head to toe wash from Say Nose. It's like a pound. Um, and then I also got the baby bath as well. So we still use those sorts of products on her. Talking of bath, I've got her this little duck. Um, I've seen the pictures. I don't know if any of you saw the pictures of like, they go around all the time, but of like things like this with the holes getting mould in. So I'm going to, I've got a hot glue gun, so I'm going to glue the base so this one doesn't go mouldy. P had a really pretty one. It was white with glitter um, and a rose gold beak. And I sawed the head off with a bread knife and saw that there was mould developing on the inside, even though I take it out and clean it and stuff. Um, so I'm going to glue the bottom so we don't have that issue. So she's got a little duck, which I think they're both going to play with, aren't they? Um, what else have I got for the... Are these bath toys? I'm not too sure. Yeah, probably. Um, I got these ages ago, last year in the Sano's toy sale, when the toy sale was good. Um, I don't know if you remember seeing these in my vlog. So obviously, if you're going to gender specify something, you're going to say that these are boyish. I don't care about that sort of stuff. P loves diggers. Um, I know it's not for P, but she doesn't care. Um, so we've got this little digger. These were 40p each. I remember that because they were such a bargain. They're the JCB water squirters. Um, she's got a little orange one with like the little mixer. And then she's got like a tractor. Um, again, I might just glue so they don't squirt, but they can still go in the bath. Um, so she's got those. They'll also be good like summer toys outside in like the pool and stuff. I've got Florence a toothbrush. Not necessarily needed at the moment. She has cut a couple of teeth, only very slightly. She cut them when she was... Well, it was last month. It was in November. Um, so I've got it for just in case when we need to start 
I didn't start brushing t P's teeth until she didn't cut teeth till she was 13 months. So it's a lot earlier on this time. But I, P had the green and pink one, I think, for her first. And Florence has got the yellow and pink, the little stubby toothbrush. Um, they're great teething toys as well. Highly recommend them. I got this from Home Bugs for, I think it was like 99p. You have to excuse me, I'm quite like sn sn snasally, nasally, stuffy nose now. Um, I've got Florence two sets of bubbles. They went, these went into the sale in Tesco's for 13p each, which is why I grabbed a couple. Um, you can't ever have enough bubbles and you've got Pepper and George and then the car on the front. So she's got those two. Uh, I can't remember where I got this from. Was it Sano's? Was it the range? I have had this for such a long time. I got this for P. I've actually lost the top of it. Um, but these are the John Deere Farming Friends by Tomy. Um, so we've got the woman and we've got the cat. Florence just loves these little figures that she can put into her mouth. Play with. Use the word play very loosely on her high chair. She basically just gobs on them and then throws them on the floor. Um, and I sold a lot of P's Happy Land stuff. Um, just because we didn't need it. I didn't think we were going to be having any more children. And then, there we go, had Florence. So, she's got those for her stocking. I am including a couple of books, because let's educate your children from a really young age. Um, I got given these when I registered Florence's birth. Um, so I managed to hide them from P. I'm really conscious, I don't know if any of you that have got older children that really understand Christmas now... I'm really conscious of putting things in the stocking that P knows and recognises because I don't want her to know that I am Father Christmas. So it's like when I was getting snacks and stuff for Florence, which you'll see in a minute, I made the conscious effort to get like not Aldi stuff because I don't want her to think Father Christmas shops in Aldi. Like it's, I know it's only like a thing that severe mental Christmas shoppers would go, but for me, I'm like, well, she might, she might remember that. So if she's seen that before, then she's going to know that I'm the big FC. So I managed to hide these from P. So she's not going to know that we've already had these before. So we've got Baby Play, which is like the black and white sensory style book. And um, P had this and she loved hers. Um, so nice and colourful. So she's got that one. And then she's got Tap Tap Guess the Toy. So it's got like little flaps and stuff. So eventually these will be like changing bag books that I can take out if we're allowed out. I've got that. Um, socks I got last year in the Say No's Christmas sale. If you're watching this, this will go up before then. Um, they slash the prices of all of their Christmas wear. Don't go to the ones in Norwich because I want to go there first and get my stuff before everyone else does. Um, but it's normally like the... the it's the... I want to say it's the last Saturday before Christmas normally. Uh, that I could be wrong, but it's normally about the 21st to 22nd, 23rd. They slash all the prices of their Christmas stuff. Um, so you can see here, they were £4, they went down to £1.20. Um, and that's when I buy stuff for the following year. Um, so I will be going to buy P's Christmas jumper for 2021 because... I'm neurotic. Um, so these are in shoe size three to five months, 12 to 24 months. I remember hauling these last year and I thought, ah, oh, why did I get that size? Like they're gonna be too big for her. Florence has got massive feet. Um, P was a very small, dainty little soul. Florence is just a unit, like she is big. <laughs> um, and I'm not used to that, so. These will fit her. She isn't size three, she's size three, and she's not 12 to 24 months. Um, but I can tell you now that P's first walkers will not be Florence's because she's just got the chubbiest feet. Um, so these are Robins, we've got reindeers, and then we've got like the elf style ones. And I just think they're really fucking cute. I love those. Um, and then I also picked up these in the sale last year. £4.50 down to £1.30. Some bibs. I always use these pullover style ones with Florence. I never did with P. I don't know why. Um, but I think they're fantastic. So we've got like vegetables that say always hungry. We've got a little gingerbread house, which I think is pretty cute. And then we've got little pudding. 
so perfect for the stocking uh what else have we got that's like my only little festive bits i've got for her who remembers this from peas i show you all of peas old toys now um i don't know whether to put this in the stocking or not because i know p remembers this so oh i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna work it maybe i could be like father christmas when he came through the attic no, he doesn't come through our attic, he comes through the front door. I have to say, like, Father Christmas had a little look and found some of your old toys. Leave me a comment below, let me know how I can do this. Um, so this is an old school Say Nose toy. Um, love it, wooden camera, it's got a little kaleidoscope style, like, fly effect. Got a workable button. I just love it. This is something that is going to go in the children's boxes up in the attic when they've grown out of it and they can hand this down to their kids because I just think it's pretty cool um i remember buying that for 50p um other old school p stuff i've got these click clack i think is what they're called they're the mother care little animals r.i.p mother care i swear i had a car and a bunny rabbit maybe i put that away for her first birthday i can't remember so we've got the little mouse we've got all the little Okay, that leg isn't clacking or clicking. This one is. So she's got that one. And then she's also got the giraffe. Just really good little sensory toys for her. So she's got those. Um, she's got these, which are the Weebles from Peppa Pig. Um, she, I gave her Delphine Donkey because we have that one. Um, just to see like how she'd play with it whether she was too young or not and she absolutely loves it so she always gums it she's always playing with it on the high chair which is exactly what i wanted to see so i'm going to wrap up these individually so we've got candy cat and we've got rebecca rabbit and we've also got pepper i got these in boots when i was a christmas temp there and i think i paid like two pounds fifty three pounds each i think can't really remember so we've got those weebles um i've got this thomas the tank train again this was peas i don't think she ever actually used it um i can't remember where it's from i think it's from tesco it's, it's just a movable train so she can play with that on her high chair i've got this little bead sort of thing this is from wilco i think they still have things like that in there wilco is pretty good for baby toys so she's got that one I've got some loud toys, don't know why. I've got a maraca, again from Wilco. I think this was like £1.50 or something years ago. Prices have probably gone up. A tambourine with an elephant on it. So she's got that. I've already shown these. I got these from Poundland. They're just good little spiky sensory balls. I thought they were really good for her, to be fair, from Poundland. She's got loads of different colours. So she'll like those. Again, I've shown this. This is from Wilco. I thought it was from Primark. Obviously not. A light up flashy ball. She's got a yellow one that I got from Primark. And she loves it. She's always like gumming on it and stuff. And it's quite nice because she can get her hands. Because it's quite there's quite a lot of grip to it. So she can play with that. Um, these are probably a little bit young for her. But it's what it is. I remember paying 20, 20p for these um, in Sano's last year. So she's got the starfish and the fish. She can just rattle them, attach them to her arms. We don't need to do that, but she's got those something extra. P's obviously going to unwrap all of this. I'm not expecting my baby to do it. Um, I've got some foodie items. Two pouches from Cow and Gate. Apple, banana and strawberry. Four to six months plus. Um, Florence loves vegetables over fruit at the moment. Whenever I give her fruit, she's like, oh, a bit sweet and just spits it out. Um, so I am trying, and I do make my own purees, but she's got a couple of those. She's got some of these individually wrapped um, melty twists. Broccoli and cheese flavour. They're from 12 months plus. We'll see. Do they have to be 12 months? I'm not too sure. Um, so I got those from Aldi. I think they were like 40 odd P or something. I got those. And then also got these Kidlicious booby wafers 10 in a pack so she's gonna like those and they're like all individually packed 
And then finally, some new bits that I got for her. We watch Moon and Me, and I feel like Moon and Me is now going to be like the new version of um, In the Night Garden, which my children or he never got into. So, I have got these little figures. So we've got Peppy Nana. I know they say from 18 months plus, but they are literally just a hard plastic figure. So it's fine. She can teeth on it. Um, so this should have been £2.50. I got this one in Debenhams. Should have been £2.50. Went down to 75p. So that's that one. And then my friend Rosie, who I spoke about in my last one, she went to her Sano's. And had, they had these ones in the sale. Now I know that they sell these in... Um, home bargains but mine never have the small figures they have something else that i'll show you in a minute um so they only had these two i really wanted the garlic and the moon baby but they didn't have it um so this is sleepy dibolo which is the rabbit and then we've got collie wobble i think this one looks terrifying um it's a little extra so she's got those and then finally she's got a stuffed toy of collie wobble again this one was from home bargains this is 99p which is a steal um they have all the characters i just don't need them i'm not a massive lover of stuffed toys um little plastic figures like this i'm fine about but these she doesn't need them all um i thought this collie wobble looks pretty cool so we've got him and like i said they had them all and for 99p, I just thought he was a nice little extra that she can play with, throw around, do what she wants with. That is everything that I have got in Florence's Christmas stocking. I know it's excessive, but I am, and I enjoy Christmas, and hate if you want to hate, but I love it. So, I am now going to sit down and wrap all of this stuff up. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you buy your baby's stockings. Um, I didn't think I ended up with too much stuff it's all stuff that she would have had anyway like i would have got this out and just given it to her so i'm like why not wrap it up and just give it for christmas um yeah so i really hope you enjoyed this video hopefully i've given you a little bit of inspiration if you've got little ones to buy for or in the future if you're currently pregnant and you want an idea for next year for your christmas hope i've given you some i really hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video